What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a vinyl wrap video for the mirror wrap. I'm using a newer color and finish from Tech Wrap. It's called Burnt Maroon. It's actually beautiful. I can't wait to wrap the entire vehicle in it. It's going to look astounding. Now, if you guys have any questions as I'm doing this video, please feel free to ask. This is an Instagram live video. I have a television set up right here and I can answer and address questions for you as I go along and wrap this mirror for you. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that and ask me the questions that you feel like you need to know. I'll get to as many as, as, many of them as I possibly can. Now, this is the color. This is burnt maroon. It's beautiful. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit closer so you guys can see what that looks like. And I'm going to be wrapping the entire vehicle in this color right here. So, Turning it from white to burnt maroon. You're gonna need a few things. So I've taken the liberty of, I've got the liberty of, of masking off the surrounding area of the actual mirror itself. So this means that we're gonna be masking off the areas that we're not wrapping in order to prevent the film from adhering or sticking to those surfaces. Having some masking tape helps the film to lift off of those areas more easily. It also protects those areas if you happen to have, I'm going to show you how to wrap the mirror right now. Um, so best way, hey, there is a way, and there's many different ways. I'm going to show you my way today. Now, you mask off these areas because you want to prevent the film from sticking to those areas, but also to protect them from potentially your knife um, maybe slipping out of you know the cracks or crevices as we're cutting. Now I'm going to show you this without removing the mirror, without removing the mirror cap, because you don't need to. And it's all about leading tension away from the edges. So I masked off the surrounding edge. You can see it like all through here, uh, on the inside here as well. I'm not sure how well you can see all inside here. It's all masked off. And I'm going to clean the mirror using 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to spray it on cloth and we're going to wipe that surface down. We want to make sure that there's no grease, wax, contaminants on the surface. 70% uh, 70, 70 isopropyl alcohol isn't too abrasive where it's going to technically harm anything or harm the paint. Uh, so we can use this more safely. I'm going to now take my squeegee oops, and I'm going to wrap the cloth around the squeegee and I'm going to get into some of the crevices and tighter areas that I can't access just by wiping it by hand. So I'm going to miss the actual cloth itself. So we're going to come in here just like this and we're going to come around the top and you can see it, it's dirty. Like that, there's dirt on that cloth. So we're going to come in there. Even though I washed the car, right? You want to make sure that you're doing a really thorough job of prep. That is super important, guys. Okay, come around here and we should be good. Now, the next step that I like to take is I'm going to dry the mirror off, even though it's probably dry because we use 70% isopropyl alcohol, it's probably evaporated a little bit. So I'm going to dry it off anyways, and I just make sure that the edges don't have any extra fluid or isopropyl alcohol taken around. Just come in here. Good. Doesn't take much. A little bit of hot air goes a long way when it comes to isopropyl alcohol. Put the, put the heat guy down right there. Now, all we need to do now is basically wrap the mirror. You're going to need a knife. You're going to need a glove, potentially. You might need a glove. We're going to need a squeegee of your choice. And when we're leaving the mirror cap on the car, we're going to need some tucking tools. So whatever tucking tools you like to use, we need some really fine tucking tools to do this. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get into these super tight areas without these tucking tools. And the idea is to obviously cover all of the paints and or as much as possible that is viewable from the exterior side. I like to go for everything. Um, that means you can look underneath all the edges and everything and you can't see any of the paints. Let's sit through the mirror like this. And I'm going to begin with my stretch on the inside, okay? Why am I starting on the inside? Because the inside is actually the more technical area. And this means that if we go from the easier side, which is usually over here, not always, but usually over here, and we end here, 
we're ending on the more technical side. I hope you guys are enjoying the audio. I have a wireless mic hooked up to the camera, so that should really help the audio. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So I, I personally wrap my car in tech wrap several times. Had a great success in this. It's all about how you install it. Now, this is a polymeric film. So you have to, and you should, well, you should, and you have to pre shrink your edges, your corners, all that stuff before you cut. If you don't do that, you're asking for it to pull back on you or just pull back from the edge, generally speaking. Now, this is all comes down to understanding the product and the type of film that you're working with. Not all films are polymeric. The adhesive side, I haven't even installed one piece of this yet. So the adhesive side of this is black. It's great, actually, because the film is actually a dark color on the surface, which means that when we do seams, if this was white on the, on the adhesive side, that would be more visible when it comes to doing the seams. The fact that it's black and we're working with a dark color, this actually should be almost next to invisible if we do use seams, which you will when you're wrapping a car, and we don't have to worry about them showing as much. Matte films always show more when it comes to seams than gloss finishes. That's typically the case. All right, so let's take this off and part of it, and we're going to position the film on the corner on the inside. Now, if you want me to move the camera, I'll move the camera. So just tell me I'll move the camera. Anyone want me to move the camera? Or be good in that, that spot right there? All right, I'm gonna take your word for it. So we're gonna work on it from this side right here. And I'm going to lay in, this actually, you cannot move the camera anyways, because this is a very important part. Inside here, this is where, let's, let's move that. That's where the edge of the mirror ends. So let's bring it over even more, a little bit more. Right here. So this is a tape on this side. This is the mirror cap. Now this is a very compound curve when it comes to wrapping. This can get really technical when it comes to wrapping. If we don't do this properly, this is where our vinyl is usually going to fail, but it'll also fail at this end over here and even at the top or the bottom. Uh, mirrors are very hard to wrap. Okay? It's probably one of the hardest parts of the car to wrap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my vinyl, watch this, and I'm going to anchor the film down over top of the line. Okay. But not only that, I don't want to just stop right there. I'm going to actually stretch the vinyl a little bit. It's called pre-stretching the film over top of this corner right here. Why? Because this makes the compound curve or bend a little bit less intense. So let's do this. You can see that I still have some of the release liner on. This actually helps when it comes to you know, moving the film around, repositioning it, whatever you need to do. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor the film down just right there, right below that bottom corner. And I'm gonna heat and stretch the film upwards over top of that corner. Now I need to just figure out what's gonna work best for you guys to be able to see. Okay, right there. I'm gonna add a bit of heat. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna stretch it upwards and over top of that corner. And this might take more than one try. I'm not sure how many tries I can do with this film yet. I haven't even haven't used it once. Okay, so we wanna make sure that, this is the goal, okay? The goal here is to have tension leading across edges and not away from edges. Super important. Okay, this looks okay to me. All right, we're gonna find out when we go to stretch the main piece. But watch what happens when I shrink the inside. Okay, so I don't have any tension that pulls this direction yet. All of my tension pulls right along that very edge. Let's heat it, and you're, that, you should see this shrink down on the inside of the mirror. It's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just smash down the rest of the film that's on the other side because we're cutting it off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. This color is beautiful. Okay. We're going to take the camera, and we're going to move it a little bit more this way because I want you to see what's going to happen next. Now I can remove the release slider entirely, and we're going to basically stretch the film across the mirror. Now I like to stretch the film from about this edge right here. So we can actually put our hands behind it as long as you didn't have some you know, greasy coat or anything like that, you'll be okay. And I like to stretch it from about that edge right there. Now our hand positioning is gonna be super important. I have to flatten out those wrinkles there. As you saw, what I did right there, I flatten those wrinkles out. Our, our hand positioning is super important. Uh, if we don't have good hand positioning, this is gonna make it almost impossible or extremely difficult to, to do. Now I'm gonna hold the film. So you can see I'm holding the film up. 
We're going to take the film, we're going to keep tension on it uh, with our opposite hand, and we're going to heat with our other hand. For me, I'm, I'm holding it with my right hand and heating with my left. Let's add a bit of heat, and you can see the film just beginning to stretch a little bit. We don't want to heat too much because uh, we don't want to cause damage to the film or striations, which can happen in any film, actually. And you can see the film is actually going, you know, more flat and more tight. Okay, so again, this might take me more than one time. We're going to find out. We're going to see how this goes. Now, we're going to take our hands. We're going to position one top, one bottom. We're going to pull the film across really nicely and down to this bottom corner right over here. Okay, so why did I do that? Oh, that's, that's the big question right there. And I missed the bottom like a goof. Look at that. See, my positioning was off. So we need to readjust or reevaluate what I just did right there or potentially even get a new piece. We're gonna try to move this and see what we can do. The finish still looks superb, okay? So I'm not worried about that. And this is vinyl, it's, you can heal it, you can fix the piece in most cases. Why did it come up so high? Mainly because of the way I pulled it. So let's lift it off. You see the film is lifting off really nicely. It's not uh, challenging to lift off. We're gonna shrink this back down to the normal size that it was. I'm gonna lift that up, all of that. Now, this is the thing, I have too much vinyl on the top side. So let's go a little higher. I could have done with some, some less vinyl on the top side, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate this film right now, okay? We're gonna do the same thing all over again. We're gonna shrink all that down, but I'm gonna move my left hand. Watch where my left hand goes this time. And my right hand is gonna stay exactly where it is. It's only fixed stuff, guys. Okay, put that heat down now. Watch this, I'm gonna take this and pull a little bit more down this way and get that situated where I need it. And we're still pulling across the mirror, okay? Pulling across the mirror prevents us leading tension to the edge and we're still pulling it right down to this very corner, basically right here. Okay, so I actually have full coverage right now. And that was all it took was to manipulate the film a little bit. Now we're gonna take this up, lift it slightly, okay? I need to get that one wrinkle out. It's a bummer, but I got it. We need to get that out. No blue lines, no creases, no nothing. Now here where I lift it, it's a mess, okay? But that's okay, I'm fine with that. Watch what's gonna happen now. We're gonna heat it, boom, shrink it down. Look at that, just like that. And it's all about how you pull the vinyl, okay? So look at that, it's, and there's no, there's no wrinkle on the edge anywhere. You need to have no wrinkles on your edges for any wrap to last. If you have wrinkles on your edges, it means your wrap could, could potentially fail, okay? And that's obviously not good. There we go. I'll show you in another video what wrinkles look like. All right, so let's finish up right here. Let's get this down. We use our squeegee because I can't get my hand right into there. That's more problematic to reach into, so I use my squeegee for that. And we can see that we've got our vinyl. It's actually perfect right there. I almost don't even need to cut. That's how close it was. We still have some more to finish up. We're not done yet. We're almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the, let's, let's bring the film back this way, the mirror back this way. Let's do that corner here. I did have it locked in already, but it just had it lifted on me, and that's okay. And watch what happens to these right here. So I'm gonna lift it off of the tape, just slightly, let a little bit of tension, and boom, it's gone. There's no more wrinkles there. Okay, that's beautiful. Watch what happens on the top, we're not even done yet. Pop is gonna be great also. All right, so let's bring this in just a little bit to show you a little bit better. There we go. Now, if, if, if this takes me too many tries and I get too many creases or blue lines or wrinkles, yeah, I'm just gonna get a new piece and I'm gonna try it again. You know, it's just a very small piece of vinyl and you don't have anything to worry about. You know, it's, it's what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain by learning. Okay, so watch what I do on top here. I'm gonna start heating from from the inside, right over here, towards the outside, watch. Okay. So watch this. So we have some wrinkles here, they're gonna go away, watch this. Look at that, how nice that is. Watch right here, on the very ends. We have to hold the film gently enough where the film wants to shrink down and around the mirror, but also you know, keep it tight enough where we're putting the film down 
without tension. But with some tension, where we don't have wrinkles at our edges. Okay? Look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, we have just this last little bit to fix up right here. And then uh, and then that's it. I'm gonna take this, lead it a little bit more down this way, right here. Thumbs, your positioning of your thumbs, super important. Your thumbs right over top. Add pressure. Let's check out the bottom here. Let's do this. Can't wait to show you guys this car when it's fully wrapped. It's gonna be awesome. Great. Now, let's finish up some of this. Okay, so no wrinkles on the edges, which means that, you know, we're, we're rocking, we're solid, we're good to go. We're ready, almost ready to cut. What we're going to do on the top side over here is we're going to pre-tuck the film a little bit. Okay? So if we don't pre-tuck the film, uh, we run the risk of, of showing some of the paint or some of the white. What we can also do now is since the tape is there, I can actually cut some of this away, which is going to help a lot, right? Let's cut some of that away and get it out. Get, get it out of sight, basically. I don't want it all there. It's annoying. I don't like to have too much extra vinyl. Uh, it gets in my way. I have a tiny, let's move that for a second. Let's move this right here. I have a tiny little wrinkle. That's okay, it's not, it's not a problem. I'm just gonna lift that film up from the edge slightly and heat it right here. It's just more of some pullback at the edge and it's better to check it now than after we cut. So we, if we cut, we're gonna be in big trouble. All right, let's fix, fix up that last little bit right here. And that's a matter of kind of just massaging the film down in this corner, just like that. All right. Obviously, it's always good to do this in as few tries as possible. But, you know, sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice to keep find the right angle and do it in one try. I could rip this piece off, and I guarantee you I could do it better again the second time. Because I've already done it once now. So we're pre-tucking the film into the area between the bezel and the actual cap itself. Why? Because I want to make sure that I don't have any white showing when I cut. This is a very critical part of uh, wrapping, in my opinion. And not a lot of people do this. It's really... Um, subject to the style and the type of installer um, that likes to wrap. All right, so we're good. All in the top side over here, we can actually start cutting. I like to separate my areas. We're gonna cut right in here. We've got a nice little gap to cut in, very small gap, but a very nice little gap. Make sure your knife is super sharp, okay? This is like, you want your knife to be supremely sharp and you don't have to worry about if it's cutting or not. And this way you also don't have to press very hard. If you have to push too hard, you're going to have a problem by cutting into something else. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. Let's heat the bottom right here. Let's pre-tuck some of this. Look, still very smooth. Looks great. Happy with it. Now down here, I have a bigger gap, so I can actually use my squeegee to tuck in here as opposed to a tucking tool. Look at that, it's beautiful. Let's get in there now and let's cut some of that out. You want as much paint covered as possible. Great. Let's go over here. I'll move the camera for the inside of the mirror in a second. So let's do here. I'm not done yet, so I'm going to pre tuck here. You don't want anything to show. And again, I'm just lifting and checking, making sure it's all good. Looks good to me. Okay, I do sections at a time because if I don't do sections at a time, this is when I actually make a mistake. So I'm gonna switch sides with you here for a second and come around here. 
because it felt more, it feels more comfortable over on this side. We're gonna get that film underneath that edge. And again, we're gonna continue our cut right on the underside. Now, I don't need to leave a lot of vinyl down here, guys. Why? Because the vinyl pulls itself along the edge. So I, it is wrapped around. It's just not wrapped around like an inch. It's just wrapped around like a sixteenth of an inch. And very minimal as far as how much it's wrapped around. This color looks freaking awesome. I'm excited to get this car outside and see what it looks like. Um, super motivated to get it done. Okay, so I'm gonna add some heat here. We're gonna add some heat along this edge. And it's always good to go over your edges afterwards with heats regardless of uh, you know no tension or having tension. You always wanna go over everything with heats. Make sure everything's super tight, looks nice and clean, okay? Now I'm not done yet and have the inside of the mirror to do. Let's take it. Let's, uh, we're, in a, we're in a decent spot, I think, right there. We're gonna cut, but we're gonna pre-tuck here also, okay? So but I'm gonna cut some vinyl in the way. Why? Because I have too much. So I'm gonna cut on the tape. Again, this is great. Great reason to have tape there. I don't have to worry about my, my knife scratching the, the uh, black piano plastic or the black plastic. Okay, let's remove some of that. Now what we're gonna do is, the hardest part is gonna be right here at this bend, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift off the tape, just like that, and we don't want to have, we don't wanna be adding tension to the edge, so this is why we have to lift off of the tape. Okay. If I lift off the tape right now and I heat the film, what happens? The film is going to shrink back down. Check that out, right? Because it's pulling across the edge. This is such important stuff. Okay, so we're gonna actually add a little bit of heat right now. And then I wanted to get the film tucked into the edge with that little bit of heat on it. See what I'm doing? Check it out. And get this lifted up. And this way the film is like shrinking into the edge once I add heat, right after, right after I get this sort of pre-tucked in here, just like so. And take your time with the pre-tuck, you don't want to mess it up. Um, your, your tucking tools can slide or slip, so you don't want to make mistakes. Add pressure and really take your time with this stuff. This is the, this is the hard part, is cutting it nice and clean, okay? It's doing a good job at the very end. So now that it's in there, you can see that line is very definitive. Check it out. Cool. We're going to take our heat gun, heat it, and then we're also going to now cut in that tiny little gap. So you need a super sharp knife for this, guys. Don't mess around. If your knife feels a little bit dull, snap a blade off or get a new one or whatever it is that you have to do to have a nice, fresh blade. Yeah, I'm gonna run out, okay? So the top corner is like a different, this is a transition point at the very top. So I needed to stop my cut right there. It feels much more comfortable and more likely that it's going to stay and last if I do that cut separately. Let's now come in at the top, the very top. It's the last little bit. It's a very minute, very small piece left around here. The last little transition. And this is super hard to come around this bend right here because of the curvature. The knife itself doesn't like to curve. And then on top of that, it's just comp it's just more compound. Okay, so we should be good. I'm gonna take my knife and look very precisely on where I'm cutting. And I, I don't really have a choice on which side my knife can go on. Um, it's kind of just in the gap. Great. This mirror, this mirror is wrapped. Now we're gonna go over it again with heat one more time. So let's do that. Let's go get in there. Tuck, make sure that's all nicely tucked in. Everything should look beautiful. That's it. That was a uh, fairly quick example on how to do your mirror cap in one piece. It's not the same with all mirror caps or mirrors in general. So just so you know, they're going to change. They're going to become sometimes easier, sometimes more difficult, uh, sometimes a lot more difficult. So stay tuned for more videos on how to wrap mirrors and other parts of the vehicle. Uh, I hope this video was informative and helpful in showing you guys how to do this. Look forward, looking forward to doing more videos for it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.